Okay, I have a game plan for uh, isolating the heat bed from the electronics that you see down below. And originally, let's see in my previous video, I showed the use of a wood board like this. Now I may still do that, but I have found some uh, silicon rubber. Now I have Right now, I just have the, I believe it's eight inch thick silicon rubber sheet. Now, I cut out a disc and have it on the back of the hot plate right here, or the heat bed. And that's good up to like about 400 Fahrenheit. So, and it does an excellent job of insulating. So, I'm thinking of bonding this to the aluminum plate. And then it'll sit down on top of here. And I can go ahead and then isolate it with something like one of these or something to raise it up if I want. Or I could potentially even screw it straight down to the open beam, as you see right there. Um, I may experiment with this. Uh, the other option that I have is to... I, ha I have a half-inch thick silicon sheet coming in and it has self-adhesive on one side and so a half inch would raise it up um, but you know, effectively a half inch above so that would be quite a bit of insulation um, away from the open beam and the hot plate the hot bed so um, unfortunately that hasn't come in yet so I'm going to experiment some with this uh, small sheet and see how this ends up working the crystal plate that they sent with this looks like this. Now, that would then sit on top of this, and they supplied little clips that need to be able to grip over here and hold this down in place while your print, uh, print head goes about printing on the plate. Um, so that was where the idea of raising it with, you know, like one of these shims like this came about was that I could raise it up like this and be able to clip underneath and hold that uh, crystal plate on top of there. So that's where my experimentation has got me to right now. I could just ignore the hotbed and, you know, just start pr printing PLA but I do need to come up with a way that this is a permanent solution because I want to wire all this stuff in and then come back in and put uh, some heat sinks down on the driver chips. So this is the microprocessor chip and underneath the wires right in here, there's the uh, stepper motor driver chips. And I have some uh, small heat sinks that would fit right over that. And uh, I should keep those nice and cool. So I want to do that, do it all right. And uh, you know, I'll decide at some point if I really need the wood to shield it. If I had that half inch uh, silicone foam, I don't think I would need anything. I could just let it sit down on the aluminum. But I don't know how much heat will be transferred through this uh, you now eighth inch thick layer of uh, silicon rubber. So I'll do another video once that half inch comes in, once I've done some playing with both of these to decide what the best uh, alternative turns out to be.